Hello everyone, this is Paul Maciel with Mobidar.com and today I wanted to show you how to install and set up the SEO siloing plugin for WordPress. Now first what we want to do is download the plugin. So we're going to go to the home page of the plugin which is memwg.com forward slash SEO siloing WordPress plugin. Okay, once we've reached this page, we want to download the plugin. So if you go to installation in the middle of the post, right here, as you can see on my screen, you see a little link for SEO siloing dash 1.2 zip. So we want to click on this, this little uh, link right here. Okay, as you can see, this little dialog box popped up. So now we want to go ahead and save this file. So as you can see, it's the SEO siloing plugin want to click on save right here and press OK. OK, now that our plugin has successfully downloaded, we can see it's in our download folder. So now we want to go ahead and open up our download folder, extract this plugin and then upload it to our WordPress installation. So now I'm going to go to the start menu and I'm going to go over to my documents. I'm going to go into downloads. So as you can see here is my SEO siloing plugin folder. What I want to do now is I want to extract this uh, the zip file into a, another file so we can upload it. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to extract it into a file. So here's my extracted file. Now I want to open this up and you can see the SEO siloing script and the readme file which has a little bit of details on how to set up the plugin and just general information. So now we want to go into our FTP client and then log into our web server. Now that we've logged into our web server, we want to install this plugin. So I'm going to go into my WordPress installation. I'm going to go into WP-Content. From there, you'll see a folder called Plugins. Click this folder. Okay, now I want to upload the plugin into this general area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my FTP client and I'm going to find my exact location where we extracted the folder. So I'm going to go into downloads. Go to my documents. And I'm going to go over here to downloads. Okay, here is my SEO siloing plugin. So right now I'm going to right click and I'm going to upload this file into the plugins folder within my WordPress installation. Okay, now that we uploaded the plugin to the WordPress plugins folder, you can see it right here on my server within my plugins folder. I'm going to log into my WordPress dashboard. Okay, now that I logged into my WordPress dashboard, I'm going to go over to the plugins folder right here on the left hand panel and then go into installed under the subcategory of plugins. Okay, as you can see on my screen, the SEO siloing plugin has successfully installed. So what I want to do is I want to activate this plugin. So I'm going to click activate this plugin right here underneath the title, activate, edit, delete. We're going to click this button right here, activate. Okay, it says plugin activated. Okay, what we want to do now is set up the SEO siloing plugin on a page. So we're going to install the code on the page and then we're going to have a from that we're going to generate a list of all the different categories or all the different posts within a category including the subcategories which is a really cool feature so what we want to do now is go to the left hand panel and go into settings click on the drop down and then click on SEO siloing okay as you can see here is a list of different uh, installation instructions that you can do for installing this plugin and you can see a different formats for your 
for your uh, list for the SEO siloing. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this code right here. We're going to right click, copy, and we're going to go into the left hand panel and go into the drop down called pages. Now we want to click add new. Okay, now that we're on the page, we're adding a new page right now. We want to go ahead and add whatever category name. Let's just say this is called website design. Okay, now from the input area for the text, we want to click on, there's two different options. There's the visual and the HTML panel. We want to click on the HTML tab. So now we want to paste this code right here, right in the middle of this text area. So we can see we have this specific code right here. Now we want to go back over to the SEO siloing uh, plugin sheet. And as you can see right here, it says to use this code to uh, specify specific category slug or category name. Now, if you were to copy this code right here, right below the first code, and paste it right below the other code, you can notice some differences. If you look at the first code, it doesn't have a little pound sign and it doesn't have a name. Instead of actually using this code, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna paste a couple elements from this code to this code. So what we wanna do is we wanna highlight the pound sign and the name, or you can just go right behind post and type in pound and then name right behind it. Okay, now we can remove this code. See, because the only difference between this code, it didn't, it didn't have the exclamation point. You know, you can do either or. You can add the exclamation point or you can add the pound uh, name section right after post. So we're going to go ahead and remove the code so it's not duplicate. Now what we have to do is we have to specify a specific category or category slug we want to add to the plugin to show on the page. So we're going to go over here to the left hand panel and go under categories. I'm going to go ahead and open that in a new tab. Okay, let's find out the category slug for web design. So I, I clicked on the category. Now it has the edit category section. And if you look at the top part of your browser, the URL bar, you can see it has this, the URL. It says category.php question mark action equals edit and cat underscore ID equals three. Now right where it says ID equals three. That is our category slug right here is three. That's the slug ID. So what we would do is we would go back over to the page and right where it says name, we would place three because that's a category slug. Or if we wanted to, we could type in web dash design. Okay. Now I'm going to use the three because I, I like to use the numbers. Okay, now let's go ahead and preview this page. So we're going to go to the right hand panel and click on preview. Now, as you can see, there's a list of different posts within this page. This is called SEO siloing. It, it includes all the posts within the category and includes all the subcategory posts as well. So now we have a good list of all our different posts within the simple URL.